Hello and welcome to Cruising with Kenyo. Hello and welcome to Cruising with Kenyo. What's up, guys? It's Kenyo, and welcome to this episode of Cruising with Kenyo. We'll be right back after this sponsored segment. Good day and or night and or afternoon. Um, this episode, I want to talk about Upload, the, uh, the series, the new series from Amazon, the television series from Amazon. Um, so, I don't know the name of the actors, um, but I know that the guy, the main guy, um, is an up-and-coming guy, because I've seen him in something else. I don't really know what it was. There wasn't anyone in the the show that that um, I really recognized from anything else, other than him, um, which is cool. You don't need a new time cast, but the show itself, sci-fi show on Amazon Prime, which I was like, you know what? Amazon just charged me. Let me use this this video prime membership, and it is pretty cool that you get free delivery and a streaming service, and it's, and they're not slacking, Amazon's getting better in their streaming, streaming services, and I love sci-fi, so the premise of this one is basically that, um, when you die, you have the ability to upload your consciousness to a digital world, basically, it's a virtual world, um, and inside that world, you, they give you a body and everything, so, and they, they made it look just like the real world, you can feel things, um, it's kind of a new technology, because in the show, it's only, I think it's like 2030 or something like that, so it's not super far into the future, um, but, um, yeah, so, that was the idea behind the show, and, uh, they executed it pretty well, you know, that's why I watched it, I was kind of hesitant, because I was like, alright, if you're gonna do this, I don't know if you guys are gonna do a good job of this, I don't really, you know, I'm not here for, I don't know, for some reason I didn't really believe that they could do too good of a job with the concept, but I think no matter, I don't think they actually did a great, great job, I think, um, I just like sci-fi so much, um, that it would have been hard for them to make something that I wouldn't have wanted to watch eventually. So anyway, um, da, 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 cruising with Kenyo. Anyway, a little segue. <laughs> um, so that show, the, the show's cool. Where did I want to go with it first? My first impression upon getting it started, getting it it spun up, I was like, all right, you know, it gives me some Black Mirror vibes because Black Mirror did something very, you know, similar. And anytime anyone does any of this, and then, okay, so Transcendence, right? The movie Transcendence with Johnny Depp. They also sort of did the same thing. Uh, they up, He uploaded himself. I guess in the, the idea behind Transcendence was more that he converted himself into some sort of, I don't know, digital matrix, it seemed as though once he, he was a quantity of data, but I guess, you know, uh, he was conscious himself, and so once he got onto a computer, he was instantly able to control, you know, all computers and stuff, either way, he uploaded himself, and, um, and, uh, You know, but I don't remember if he intentionally uploaded himself or if he had just... Yes, yes. In fact, in in, um, Transcendence, it took a very long time. Like, the whole upload process took, like, he he had to, like... It took him a long time. Like, they did, like, different speech things. They were, like, recording his brain, like, over... I guess because they had just invented the technology. And so, the technology, you know... Okay, so a few shows have done that type of technology. Um... 
cool. The storyline was fascinating. Uh, there are also driverless cars. That's a big thing that they do in the show. The, the cars are all completely driverless. You just get in these cars and they zip you around and people can go to sleep in them. You can turn off your windshield. You can do a bunch of other really cool stuff that I thought was cool because I'm like, yeah, that's really going to happen. By 2033, do I think everyone will be in a driving car? Possibly. Uh, I would have said no. But then, you know, things like the coronavirus, um, you know, uh, have really shown me that certain things can accelerate people's adoption of technology. And we have a lot more technology available that is not currently in use. And, yeah, I think if it became, like, absurd, you know, like the number of, I mean, the number of deaths in cars is already kind of high. Um, so I think... It, if, if, um, that gets, if that catches a new angle, it could very easily push us to a place where it's like, you know what, now you can only drive regular cars between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., everything else has to be driverless, or something like that, you know, and then that drives the consumption of driverless cars before you, before you know it, all cars just have to be driverless. Do I think that could happen in 13 years? Yeah, I do, but anyway, probably not. Um, 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 yeah, so that was cool, that was another technology that they did a lot with in there, um, that's very fascinating, they also had a lot of packages being delivered by drones, and then, so there would be a person working for the whole upload thing, now, they didn't have an unlimited universe, so there was a bunch of different things with the upload thing, one, there was, like, tiers, like, if you spent a lot of money, basically everything in the up in the afterlife where people would assume I guess they were planning on staying forever which I didn't understand how that worked because everything there costs money so your family would have to be like paying for you to stay in this thing and it wasn't like cheap it cost a lot of money now the main character ended up with the best package fortunately but you know later on in the show you get to see the lowest package um, and it is pretty lame, like, so, you know, it's funny, they have, like, a two gig package, which is funny, and, um, you know, people with two gigs can't do a lot of stuff, all their walls are bare, but he's, like, on this super kind of expensive package that, from the way they talk about it, it seems like it's costing, like, $2,000 a month or something, um, and that's a lot, that's a lot, and, okay, my main gripe with this technology, um, and there's this, like, one movie where, um, I don't even remember the name of the movie, but it's, like, a magician, and he's, like, oh, I can teleport myself, but he's not really teleporting himself, he's making a duplication of himself, and that new duplication of himself gets to live on, and then, like, he kills the old version of himself every single time, which is really weird, but anyway, I kind of think the same thing with this, I'm like, I think if you duplicate something, I don't think that is the same thing, like, we, we don't mind with, um, like, if you upload a picture to Facebook, the picture that was on your phone is not the picture that was on Facebook, you know, like, it, the, the data is getting copied, and then, I mean, with data, the thing about it is, anyway, the picture that's on your phone is not, the data isn't really moving, you're copying files, uh, just like when you do on a computer, when you drag a folder, you can move the folder, but all you're really doing is copying the file and then immediately deleting the old one, um, so you're still copying the file, there's no way for data, as we currently think about it, to move, like, like, move, um, So, that kind of, I think that, <laughs> that, that's what's kind of weird to me about those things, because I'm like, alright, so you made a copy of the person, right, but the, but the guy died, you know, like, you didn't, he's dead, you just have a copy of him, so, and that serves a utility that is, I think, I guess, desirable, like, if you could have a copy of people who died, like, if we could have a, like, a, Alexander the Great, that I just picked a random person, I actually know almost nothing about Alexander the Great, the Great, um, but if we could have an Alexander the Great, um, 
He was a fan of cavalry, right? Alexander the Great. Anyway, um, if we could have a copy of Alexander the Great here today, would I think that's weird? No, I don't think so. I think it could get weird really fast. It could get weird. Like, if so, if you had a copy of your husband, you know, I think for certain people that could lead to various forms of mental um, mental instability to have that kind of thing around. So anyway, that's my main gripe with it because, and he's talking about like, oh, one day I'll be able to come back if they, they master downloads. And then to upload the people, they have to like incinerate their heads, which mm, doesn't make a lot of sense. But the world is pretty cool. You can get like, um, oh, so they have this system called Angels. Angels are the customer support. And so if you're like Angel, and then the, the customer support person will all come into the world. And then they have like VR suits so like people in the real world can like, you know, feel you if you're touching them or something like that. Lots of technologies. Again, my, my main gripe with the whole concept is, you know, the guy's dead. So um, it's like you didn't really... It's like, it's weird. It's just weird. So now I'm watching this guy's clone. This guy's copy. Who I could never have any sentimental, you know, real attachment for. Even him falling in love is somewhat grotesque. The idea that, you know, this lady thinks that she's falling in love with... Well, because, see, the shows, the way that they do this kind of stuff... And I know I shouldn't be picking apart the tech that much. The whole point is for... Um, entertainment, but I feel like with sci-fi, the point is also the technology, like, you wouldn't, the, the genre is leaning on the idea of, you know, interesting people who like the idea of future technologies, and I'm not picking it apart saying that, oh, I'm not going to watch season two, I already watched all of season one, I paid for it, so I think I can pick apart the technologies in my leisure time, is that a problem? No. Anyway, so, the problem with, um, now you think about this copy, because there's no way, I mean, you could, I could see maybe a development in technology to where, um, you can properly capture what a consciousness is, um, but I think even if you captured a consciousness, I, I don't know if that would be the same, well, I don't know if I would give that the same depth as a person. Anyway, I'm thinking, later on, you know, there's going to be a difference between the way that these copies age versus regular humans age. And so, you're not really getting to know the person, and I think that will become increasingly clear as time goes on, and computers do what they do, which is degrade and um, you do what you do, which is just, like, start to be like, oh, this is weird, this doesn't make any sense. And the whole idea of the romance, like, the, the main romance ends up being between a real person and a not real person. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going to go down, but I don't want to ruin it for you. So, a real person and a not real person, and I'm like, oh, well, this is not good for her. You know, this is, she's alive. Young. Young and alive. And this, you know, literally dead digital video game is not a human. And uh, they are not going to be... It's not even a they. She is, you know, confused. So, um, yeah. That was that was that show. That's my opinion of that show. I did I did enjoy it though. Like I thought it was cool because obviously I can suspend my disbelief in the technology and just be like, you know, these are two actors and the actor's not a computer. The actors and there's some really funny stuff in there. Like the AIs are really funny. The AIs in the um, in the uh, digital afterlife world are very funny and uh, they're like glitching all the time and it's like funny. It's just funny. And, um, it's not the full world, by the way. The afterlife that he's in, there's sep separate ones, the afterlife. I'm not even going to call it afterlife. The uh, computer programs that they live in. His, the expensive one, is basically, uh, it's designed after, like, a hotel. So he lives in a hotel, which... I actually feel like I, I was going to say, I don't know if I could live in a hotel for eternity. I was thinking about it. 
ran it through my head, and I was like, ah, no, that would be, that would be okay. Not eternity. Definitely not eternity, because I want to go to actual heaven, you know, where the stuff doesn't suck. Um, and that was a little interesting part that they did in the show, too. They were kind of going in on, you know, maybe the idea. It's like, oh, like, if you don't do this, why would you, like, you're going to not do the upload in hopes that there's an actual afterlife? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do, because... Honestly, I mean, the the way that it played out was, in some cases, best case scenarios, um, in a lot of ways, just, just weird, you know, and I don't really, I'm not, I'm not gonna get super dark <laughs> right now in this, this fun, this fun podcast about Upload, the Amazon series, but, um, I don't know, I'm not gonna get dark, I just don't think... I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be concerned at all, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna totally, I'm gonna totally go ahead and hold on to hope, I'm gonna hold on to hope for here on, anyway, you guys, this has been, um, an episode of Cruiser with Kenya, I just wanted to talk about this new show, this new thing, and, um, the idea of a digital afterlife. Yeah. So anyway, check me out. Follow me on different stuff. Hit me up. Get at me. Um, I'm at Kenyo HQ on Instagram and everything else. And my website is www.kenyo.org. Thank you for listening to this series inside of my main podcast, Kenyo HQ. This has been Cruising with Kenyo on Kenyo HQ, the podcast. Um, Kenyo HQ, also available from projectforward.tv. Go check it out. Um, the videos and stuff that we do on there. Um, which I don't think there are any yet, but there will be soon. So, um, do that. And, uh, I will, uh, hear back from you soon. Maybe I'll drop another podcast, you know, today. If not, go back and listen to my other podcast. And I'll also be dropping old podcasts um, that I have not yet converted over from my last podcast, because there's some cool episodes, and I already made those episodes, so why not release them, so I might release them, like, two at a time, or something like that, maybe I'll just release all of them at once, who knows, but all right, thank you guys for listening, I'll talk to you later, bye.